We're back with NBC News In-Depth tonight, an exclusive investigation into yet another religious organization hit with sexual abuse allegations. The Jehovah's Witnesses have settled nine lawsuits alleging church policies protected men who abused children for many years. In settling, the church did not acknowledge wrongdoing. Now, evidence has surfaced that leaders did know about some of the men, but apparently never informed authorities. Our senior investigative correspondent, Lisa Myers, has our exclusive report tonight in depth. Frederick McLean is among the country's most wanted fugitives, accused of molesting children for almost a decade. His typical victims were, were young girls, uh, I think starting around five or six years old. Authorities say McLean, who restored race cars, was a respected leader in this congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses. His role in the church was significant because we believe that his participation in the church gave him access to his victims. The Jehovah's Witnesses recently agreed to pay to settle a lawsuit that alleged the church knew or should have known McLean was a pedophile. One of nine similar cases, church headquarters settled without admitting wrongdoing. But internal church records now coming to light in those lawsuits show that the church knew for years that some prominent members were sexually abusing children and did little. Example, James Henderson. Documents show the church knew he was abusing kids as early as the 1970s and stripped him of his leadership role for a while, but apparently never alerted police. He was finally arrested in 1994 and went to prison, having molested children for two decades. Another church leader, Alvin Hurd, confessed to the church in 1981 that he'd abused three children ages 5, 9, and 11. His local congregation kicked him out and alerted church headquarters. But again, the church apparently never notified police. Heard now in prison admits he molested other children until 2003. The policies and procedures enacted by Jehovah's Witnesses protect pedophiles rather than protect the children. Barbara Anderson, a former Jehovah's Witness, is an outspoken critic of the church on this issue. She says the church prefers to keep an abuser's confession confidential, treating abuse more as a sin than as a crime. They do not report child abuse to the authorities unless it's mandated by a state for the clergy to do so. The church declined to speak on camera, but in a statement wrote that it does not condone or protect child molesters, that cases within the church are rare, that members have the right to report the crime to authorities, and that church elders comply with child abuse reporting laws. But not all states require clergy to report child sexual abuse. That means some abusers get caught only if victims finally come forward. Like Frederick McLean's accusers, who now want this alleged molester taken off the streets. Lisa Myers, NBC News, Washington. We're back with NBC News and exclusive.